What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. In today's video, we'll be doing another supply drop opening. It's been about a week since the last supply drop opening and I've already got uh, 65 supply drops. And that's even counting the time when I couldn't redeem orders and get extra supply drops. So I don't know how I'm collecting supply drops so fast. This game is just great for that. So we're going to do 30 common supply drops first and then the 35 rare supply drops. And I was requested to actually go into the firing range and inspect the weapons. I totally forgot that there was an inspect animation in this game last time. So if I get any like weapon variants, I'll go and inspect them so you guys can see them. So starting off with the regular supply drops, we're going to call it in right here. Three common items right off the bat. At least it's not doing that jumpy thing this time. Last time, whenever I called them in, it would like do some weird jump animation. Oh, it actually just did it right there. They all show up as commons, and then when and then it like takes a second, and then they all change, which makes it very hard for making a thumbnail out of it. Ooh, that's a legendary. I always get the legendary and epic uh, back backdrops confused. They look pretty similar. I haven't yet I haven't yet had a, a heroic item, so I'm looking forward to a heroic. I want to see heroic in today's video, because we didn't get any heroics with the 50 supply drops we did last week. A couple of grips. That's three duplicates in a single drop. I love it already. The duplicates. That is an epic. What is that? What is that? OAO. It looks like uh, M1A1, maybe? Or is that an SMG? I'm not sure. Maybe it's the SVT. It kind of it could be the SVT. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at that later. Ooh, that's a heroic. Yes, that's a sniper rifle. That's the Lee Enfield. Fucking Lee Enfield. I don't like that gun. But I'll have to use it if that is what that is. That could be the Springfield too. I'm not really sure. I wish that's the Springfield. The Springfield. That's Grease too. That's the nice looking one as well. I wish it just said on them, like right underneath, like what weapon it is. So you don't have to guess like, oh, I think that's this gun because they don't tell you. And even when you go to create your class with them, it doesn't say like Springfield dash Grease 2. It, just, it says Grease 2. Like that's what the weapon is called. And then if you go into the menu under that, it says like Epic Springfield variant or something instead of just saying like every other variant base Call of Duty has Springfield dash whatever. Acrobat Epic. That's either the double barrel or the sawed off. It could be it could be the Luftwaff drilling. It kind of does look like the sawed off though. I don't know. Those two weapons are so similar. I've already got three variants though, so I'm pretty happy with this opening already. We did get a couple legendary outfits, and we're only in the common supply drops. There's another epic. epic. US Riveter 2. That's the uh, clean looking one, anyways. So I think that's for. US Riveter is for Armored Division, I'm pretty sure. I think I got one like that in my last opening. A couple common items there. There's another rare. Rough Terrain Calling Card. That's like a bunch of duplicates. Those are two legendaries, and they're both pistol grips. And one of them is a duplicate. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these uh, armory credits. I'm up to almost 7,000 armory credits up there. Might have to actually go and buy something with them. Legendary U.S. Winter Uniform. Another freaking pistol grip, because there's probably like 300 of them in this game. Another epic! And it's a calling card. That's actually a pretty neat calling card. I like that. I would use that. It's kind of similar to the prestige calling cards where it's like, but I like how the prestige calling cards are going so far with the, uh, how every time you prestige, it kind of gets like more advanced. Like it's like video games through the ages or something. I I'm super excited to see what the last prestige calling card is more rares. Yes. Just what I need to be able to say yes. I feel like some of those phrases are just so you can actually talk to people in the headquarters without talking to them on mics. Just like change your emotes so you can say something different, say something to them to answer them. Oh, there's a rock, paper, scissors emote too. There's a rock, a paper, and a scissors so you can... I wonder if, uh, I wonder if there's like a hidden thing like there was in Infinite Warfare where you can actually do it and like win in a rock, paper, scissors match or whatever. Wingman grip. I've had a lot of legendary grips so far. 
There's another legendary. 15 minutes of weapon XP. And 10 minutes of division XP. Most of my divisions are maxed out, so it's not going to be super helpful. Headshot calling card. Well, that's nice and gory. I like it. Last two common supply drops. Which is the 30. We're not even halfway through. I still have 35 rares. Ooh, baby. Battle Watch Epic. What is that? That looks like a... Carabin? Maybe. I don't think there's... It's... It almost looks like an LMG. I almost thought it was a Lewis gun right away, but I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. You think it is a Lewis? I don't, I don't know. All right, now we've got rare supply drops to call in. That was 30. Now we've got 35 rares. So this is where we should see the better stuff. I mean, we already had like six epic variants, but starting off with US Riveter. I just got US Riveter too. What do I need that for? Jeez. Shingles, I already have that. A duplicate. That's worth 406 armory credits for a epic weapon duplicate. If only I could get the Shingles Mark II where it actually looks good instead of like a rusty piece of garbage. Bunch of XP. Cheer ya. Yeah. 10 minutes of XP. Ooh. Behind enemy lines calling card. I feel like the cheap way that they get you with this is the XP. Like, no one actually needs XP. Like, people are opening supply drops to get variants and outfits. Nobody wants pistol grips. Nobody wants calling cards. Nobody wants emblems, which I'm sure they're probably going to add at some point. They haven't had emblems so far, but I'm expecting them to add emblems with, like, the next update or whatever. I'm, I'm believing the first update should come in December. That was around the same time that the update came out for Infinite Warfare that added stuff to the Quartermaster. So I'm expecting them to add camouflages to the mix, uh, emblems to the mix, because there are a couple different menus for the emblems. Like there's a, there's like custom made emblems and then there's like classic emblems like Sledgehammer made and stuff. So I, I think it's too, too good to be true that there aren't emblems so far. But that's definitely how they get you with like the pistol grips, the emblems, the calling cards, the double XP that you don't really want. I think I've had a much better time opening the common supply drops. I had like one epic so far to this and it was a duplicate. <laughs> I, I That's like the third time I got tip of the spear since I started opening these rare, rare supply drops. Ooh, two epics. And they're both out outfits. Damn it. <laughs> Navy Code Talker, that could be Mountain, it could be Airborne. British Commando 2 is probably Infantry. But I like how I got a 2. I like the 2s that are nice and clean and look good. Epic. There's another Epic, and it's a p p Pistol Grip. Freaking Pistol Grips, man. Heroic. Heroic! And it's a Calling Card. Really? <laughs> I've seen a lot of people with that Calling Card. It must be a pretty common Heroic. I honestly didn't know Heroics. I didn't know Calling Cards could come in Heroic. I thought Heroic was only outfits and variants, so now I'm kind of mad. Now I'm going to be worried every time I see a Heroic pop up. Like, oh god, is it going to be a stupid calling card? I wonder if there's Heroic Pistol Grips. Oh god, Heroic Pistol Grips. That'd be the most ridiculous thing. Animated Pistol Grips. <laughs> Dog Fighter. That's one you have. Oh, you have... U.S. pilot. Dogfighter's probably for the same person. Airborne, is it? British Commando. I just got British Commando too, so I don't need that. 15 minutes of XP. Wow. I'm surprised the system isn't so broken to the point where it's like you get double XP and then you get double XP in the same supply drop opening. And it's like, nope, that's a duplicate and it just gives you armory credits instead. You don't get that much XP. Another epic and it's another uniform. I don't have that. I don't have that one. Ruby Loftus. That's definitely an armored division. I've noticed that armored always has those friggin' uh, suspenders. Three pistol grips. Great. Ooh, heroic. Not a not a calling card. Ooh, STG Haywire Two. That's the black and gold one. That one looks really really good. Now, if only I could get a, a variant of a of a weapon that I actually like. <laughs> I don't really care much for the STG. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Flag top. That's a 
toggle action. Yeah. Only 10 supply drops to go. There's another epic. epic. Son of Mars. Ooh. What is that? MP40? That's got a bunch of boosts on it, too. It's got uh, extra XP, and there's a zombies boost for it as well. I haven't really seen any epic variants of the MP40 apart from the one that you get for uh, completing Airborne Division, the Do-Re-Mi. I, I haven't seen another one, so... Two heroics! Ooh! Ooh! Critical Care Nurse 2 and the Snake 2. That's a PPSH. That one looks really good. I'm getting a lot of fucking good stuff here. I kind of like the supply drip system. It's kind of bringing me back to my uh, Modern Warfare Remastered Supply Drip System days where I'd actually get good stuff instead of like Infinite Warfare Black Ops 3 where I'd open like 10 years worth of supply drops and get nothing. I've got uh, six rare supply drops to go. There's another heroic faithful. What is that? Is That's a Springfield. That's got to be the Springfield. But that's the dirty version. It doesn't look dirty, but that's just the original Faithful. There's a Faithful 2, so that one's going to be all rusty and garbagey. Another Heroic, and it's a Pistol Grip. A duplicate Pistol Grip. <laughs> Great! Uh, four Supply Drops to go. These ones really picked up towards the end. Like, the Commons, I started getting Epics and Heroics right away. The, the Rares, it was like... 10 or 15 it was just nothing but commons and rares and maybe legendaries xp and then it was like epic 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 heroic like double heroic i don't three friggin pistol grips like we're waning back out now two to go there's another heroic epic. u.s medic two okay cool another uniform and the last rare supply drop and it's three rares and they're mostly pistol grips heidi ho I'm almost uh, level 9 social rank. I think that only gives you, like, a, a rare supply drop or something. Our man's going to call in a supply drop, and he's got three rares. Bunch of garbage. Oh, he's got another one. Heidi ho I just got that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to run over here and see if I can buy... Oh, you still have more? Okay, call him more. Let's do it. Ooh, oh, that's a legendary. I thought it was an epic. It's kind of hard to tell right off the bat. Poppy, I already have that. I just, you just got me to first lieutenant level 42. I'm almost about to level up from that. It's weird how it gives you player XP instead of social rank. Like when you're opening them, you get social rank, but the people watching get regular XP. What can I do for you, ma'am? Resupply today? Okay, I'm going to go into my collections and see if I can buy anything in here now, because I've got 8,300 friggin' armory credits. I still can't buy, like, any of the, um... Oh, I could buy the WAF. Ooh, that looks so good. Everything's going to show up with diamond camo. Okay, i got to go to my menu for a second. Because if you have a camouflage equipped on your weapon, on your, uh... On your, what is it called? The area the headquarters on your headquarters soldier if you have a camo equipped it's going to show every weapon in the menus with that camouflage even if it doesn't have it yet so it's showing me like the waff with diamond camouflage for some reason so lee enfield i'd have to buy the epic i i cannot buy epics i'm too cheap for that shit i could however get this fg42 which looks super tight that would be a lot of money but i could buy it We've got the candy, which is an epic. Trigger happy with the waff. And this one's super cheap. I don't really use the waff, but it's so cheap that it's like, oh my god, I'd be stupid not to. Nice selection. So that's the waff 28 trigger happy, which looks pretty nice. It's all black and gold. Collection complete. Congratulations. I didn't open, I didn't uh, purchase my uh, variants in here last time on on screen instead i did it after the opening but i, I assume that like i did in modern warfare master you probably like to see this as well i can buy the ranger m1903 it's only uh about 900 credits because i've got the epic now so i'm gonna do that as well m1903 ranger that looks super nice it's all black and gold i feel like all of the collection items are black and gold 
collection complete. Unfortunately, that does look like the dirty version for some reason, but um, I'm okay with that. The checked out Type 100, I can buy that. I can buy so many of these things. I'm going to have all these collections complete by the time the supply drop system gets updated. Holy. So we got the Type 100 checked out, which is looking mighty fine. Quite the collection. This one's kind of neat. I like the, uh, the, the black. It's black and gold again, but I like how the uh, design looks on the side of it. Mountaineer, I don't have the epic. High mat, I don't have the epic. M1941 doesn't even need an epic. Ooh, the jawbreaker. It's so nice. Although I'm getting I'm getting low on funds here, but I'll buy that legendary anyways. So whatever the weapon was that I was gonna buy at the very beginning, I can't buy that anymore. I needed like three thousand for that. I'm down to under two thousand now. But I did buy like four or five weapons now, so. Jawbreaker looks awesome, and I'm a big fan of the M1941. MG42 I got in the last opening. I didn't show you guys that one, so that's a zipper. M1 Garand, I still need the Epic. Eagle's Nest I bought in the last one as well. I needed, like, one item for this, so I bought it. It's a bazooka. It's nothing really special. That I need the Epic, Epic, Epic. I need so many Epics, actually. M1A1 Carbine, Panzer Shrek. Oh, the Panzer Shrek I can buy. <laughs> I might as well. I need 225 armory credits to get the Panzer Shrek. So let me just pick that up. Why not? Not that I'm ever really going to use it apart from getting my camos, but I might as well. It looks pretty cool. US Shovel. I can't get any of these. And we're back to the top. The one that I was going to buy was the fg42 revised which i do need quite a bit i need like 3,000 to get that one so we'll we'll pick it up on the next pass we'll get it on the next opening like next week when i have 75 supply drops this time but um let's go over here and i guess i don't actually have to go over here i just need to go into my menus and we're going to take a look at all these weapons first we'll look at the uh divisions so i got a new u.s medic I have been using regular U.S. Medic, but U.S. Medic 2. Nice. And Critical Care Nurse, which is uh, heroic. That's pretty That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, did I get anything for Expeditionary? No. Did I get anything for Armored? I did. U.S. Riveter. U.S. Riveter 2. Ruby Loftus. And U.S. Talker. I got the Navy Code Talker. Which is, wow, that's uh, something special. I'll put that on. Mountain, U.S. Winter. So we got U.S. Winter for Mountain, which is okay. I feel like you're going to stick out like a sore thumb with that thing on, though. Just like a bright white jacket. And uh, apparently I don't have an Airborne class. So we'll have to change this one to Airborne. And we're, we got British Commando and British Commando 2 which, again, it's just they take off the dirt. And U.S. Pilot, for some reason, that one didn't pop up. Even though it was new, there wasn't a star on that one. So I like that one the best, actually. That one's pretty nice. Now, it's why is it still telling me that I have something new in Divisions? Oh, it's because it's telling me I have new weapons. Okay. Calling cards, emotes, we don't care about that right now. Weapons. So we've got... Starting in the rifles, the M1941 Jawbreaker. Take a look at this in the firing range. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, man. That's brutal. Like, the gold camouflage can't even stack up to this. That's not even fair. We've got... Uh, I also have another M1941, the Battle Watch. Oh, that's what the Battle Watch was. It was uh, M1941. That thing's ugly as hell. It's all like wooden and broken and oh my god those sights that iron sight is so weird that is such a weird iron sight uh what else do we have here m1 garand we didn't get there's a lot of stuff that i don't have unlocked right now unfortunately but we did get the haywire 2 which is the heroic stg oh that looks nice black and gold all over it's got the nice iron sights, the really uh, wide iron sights so you can see, and the folded stock. What else do we have? M1A1 carbine, SVT. That's what the OAO was. The OAO was a SVT. So uh, we'll take a look at this. 
That's kind of a neat looking SVT. It's a little weird. I like the iron sights, open iron sights on it. Open half moon, really, really nice, except it's obviously the first version of the OAO. That's why it looks like garbaggio. Uh, grease gun, PPSH, we got the Snake 2, which is the heroic. So we'll take a look at that. That looks super slick. That is a slick looking PPSH. And the iron sights are, uh, they're okay, but it's its a really nice looking PPSH, really shiny. We've got, uh, I think I got the WAF, I believe. Yeah, I got the WAF trigger happy. It's, it's weird. Some of the stars aren't popping up, whereas other ones, it's like, tell me that there's a new thing there. So the trigger happy looks okay. I, it's nothing special. I like the iron sights though, again, like the wide open iron sights. Type 100 checked out. Like this one didn't have a star on it. I just remembered that I had a Type 100. That's a really nice variant. If you're going for a variant in the collections, the Type 100 looks really, really good. Even though it's just like a first model, it, it still looks pretty nice. The M1928, that's just the one for being a high social score. Son of Mars was an MP40. We'll take a look at that. That is dirty as hell. That thing is ugly. But the iron sights, open iron sights, no uh, no semicircle on the end. It's really, really, really nice. Uh, we'll take a look at the LMGs. That's from last week. I don't think I got any LMGs, actually. Nope, no no new LMGs. Lee Enfield. So Grease 2 is a Lee Enfield. So we'll take a look at that. Yeah, Grease 2 is a Lee Enfield. It's kind of got like an open kind of scope to it where you can kind of see around the edges. Ooh. Ooh. It's uh, it's nice. It's got a nice little floral, silver floral pattern on the side. That's a heroic, by the way, that uh, Lee Enfield greased to. M1903. So we've got the Ranger and the Faithful. So the Ranger's got like a smaller scope on it. This is the one from the collections black and gold smaller scope it's got a gold eagle on the side all oh, those that scope looks awesome i'm not a big fan of the uh bottom half only scope whereas this one's got like all it's got like the full official bar scope it looks really nice and uh the ranger and the faithful this is the one we got out of supply drops and this one is not going to be very nice yeah this is all rusty it's actually very similar to the Ranger, kind of same design on the side. Yeah, it's got a longer scope, which it's got the same sight lines in it. It's like the same uh, crosshair. Looks really nice, but the weapon itself kind of looks like Garbaggio. Whereas um, I have seen the Faithful too, and it is really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, Luftwaffe drilling. Nope, that one was a sawed off, that one that we were talking about earlier. But we did get the Flag Top which is actually the exact same as the Enigma that you can get from the collections I'm seeing here, but uh, this is the toggle action flag top, which looks ugly, but, uh, and there's like no sight at all. Oh, there's a little, there's a little ball at the end for a sight, but it's like really thick. This looks a lot thicker than the regular toggle action, almost as if it's got like, um, like a, I don't know. I don't know what the whole point of that thing is down the barrel. It's just like a longer grip for some reason. I guess if you're like seven seven feet tall and your arms are that long, you need to hold it further down. But uh, the sawed-off shotgun, we got the Acrobat. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. So uh, this one's got a grip that you put your hand on <laughs> underneath the shotgun. That is so weird. It's got like a little foregrip at the front. Because, you know, this thing kicks like a bitch, so I guess. And it's got the, uh, the nice sight up the top, too. Sight's pretty good, but uh, obviously this is ugly. It's kind of a crappy variant. That's all the primaries. I don't think I got any secondaries, actually. I don't remember seeing any secondaries. So uh, that is all the weapons and outfits that I got. That was 65 supply drops, 30 commons, 35 rares. I'm sure I'll be back some point at like next week with like 75 this time. This week I was actually, uh, I was actually set back because I because I didn't have all the time to be doing the contracts. Like the contracts are all screwed up for me. So if I was actually doing the contracts and getting shit done, I probably would have had 75, maybe 80 supply drops easily. So 
yeah like the better this game gets the longer this game comes out and like the better the servers are and the more i can play and the more contracts i can do there's going to be even more supply drops in the openings but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like subscribe if you're new and uh, did you find the hidden Astro logo in today's video? That's worth five entries in my Astro A20 giveaway. You can learn more about that in the link in the description. Follow me on Twitter and all that other stuff. There's links in the description. And I will catch you guys on the next video.